Don't. The next tip is uh, let don't do the heavy lifting. Uh, and that means there's a lot of nice auto-completion going on in, in a number of ways. And here you can see in our LEGO demo transcript, uh, for example, here, if I actually f figure out that there's somebody who's actually saying something after this, then because I've already entered in a number of participants, and I've also set in transcript options here, that there's an English translation called ENG. I could add any number of translations if I want, or gloss tier, sub tiers. Then it's going to auto-complete. So let's say here that I hear, um, for example, P3 say something at this point, which I didn't hear initially before. If as soon as I type P, it's going to suggest a whole bunch of possibilities. And if I just move down with the arrow key, or I can use my mouse to select, I'm, I think I just want a, a speaker here. And if I say, yes, I want P3, I not only get P3 auto-completed, I also get the translation sub-tier. And then I can start typing. So that's one form of auto-completion. But if we hear a new person that we've never saw bef before or heard before, let's say P5, then you notice here P5 doesn't have any association yet because we've never used it. So I'm going to have to do that myself. And now notice P5 is gone green, which means now next time that I use that, I can do P5. There's P5, and it will auto-complete that with this sub-tier as well. So that's one, one thing you can do. I'll just delete those. Uh, ones there, go back to here, and let's say we were typing, and you may have seen it just before, as soon as we start typing, if I type a certain character, it might suggest something to do with that from the uh, name of the phenomena. So if I want slow, then there's the symbols and you're already inside to do something said a bit more slowly. So I could say here, slowly. And let's say, uh, uh, as you saw there, soft. So soft, okay, now softly. And so this will auto-complete, and it will also auto-complete on overlap sometimes. If you start an overlap for one speaker and move on to the next speaker, it will suggest maybe you want to have an overlap here to match the one you've already had. So that's simple overlaps. If you want to see those, Control Enter or Command Enter will show you all those that are possible. And in the Mondadian system, there will be more opportunities because of the sub-tiers uh, for alignment systems being suggested as well. So, well, so appropriate alignment system. This is our special symbol here, which you can check out on our video tutorial about editing to get more information about this. Um, so that's auto-completion. Uh, auto-completion of the uh, speaker uh, sub-tier, uh, sorry, this, the primary tier with the speaker, and it could be with the sub-tier, uh, which is matching, and then if it's a Mondadian system, it will also be with the sub-tier types, which are could be just participants who are doing some action. Uh, so uh, it's not only necessarily speaker always, it can also be a, just a participant ID that comes here uh, and that will automatically be completed. So so you, you do use use the uh, the work uh, in the Mondadian system. Um, you will find if you go to options that you will have sub-tiers that you've had to set up here. Those name sub-tiers will, will, can also be auto-completed and uh, there's alignment systems that can be chosen. For example, I can add one here. Let's say it's the speaker P2 that we want to have a sub-tier. Uh, we haven't set this transcript up for Mondarian system because you see it's Jeffersonian, but we could choose that if we wish to. And let's say it's uh, hand. I want something to do with their hand. I want it to auto-complete. And the symbol I want is a uh, and sign. And there, that means I can then use P2 slash hand as my sub-tier type and this symbol is associated with that, and that helps don't parse your transcript. So that's just an example. I'm going to delete, delete that one, go back. So that's the tip. Uh, enjoy.